Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I get my fish, Blake. I'm getting it. I can't have the Don't blow it. Don't blow it. I'm going back up the creek again today with a young fella that works for us, Blake. He's only started out bass fishing, so we're going to try and get him on some really good fish. Realised that I've only got six pound leader. So I made him walk back to the car get that leader because you cannot start your journey as a master angler to become a master angler if you fish with the wrong gear so you know, I'm just going to sit here and wait for him hopefully get one on the on the uh, on the weight smells fishy Whoa, look at the size of that thing. Oh man, look how quick they are. Look at him, he's so quick, look. They're everywhere, these snakes. I went down here, that was just, I was just, ugh. Um, I went down here a couple days ago, I did a video. <laughs> Nearly trod on five of them. Already, <laughs> so we've seen three deer and a black snake, and I've been here five minutes. Oh, mate, <laughs> just in case you, you fall, don't. yeah. Well, you got a bunged up knee, so there's a high prob just makes it more impressive. It's a high probability. I like, believe me when I take Roger fishing, every one of these crossings I film him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because when he crashes, that's like a big splash, it's like a brown bear hitting the water. You made it, let's go. Right, well, we shouldn't get too many snakes up high, so we'll just do our walking up high for a while. <sighs> Did you bump any more deer as you come out, or? Oh. What did you? Hey, you what? Just fucking missed this. <sighs> oh, you know I've been. Oh mate, you have made my day. He's I have been, I have been looking for a shed. He's fucking stepped I, on it. I have been looking for a shed for ten years. I, I have, un, really. You stepped on it. I like was going to tell you this morning. I really, they've cleared all this up here. I was going to go. We got. I have been looking for that shed. Oh man, thank you so much. Any That's. Time. Can I'm I, your fucking eyes. Only one question though is, I really want to put that in my cabinet. It's your fine. No, you, you've been looking at it for longer. Let's, well, oh. he has two. Let's look for another one. Can't I just, I, I've been looking for, I want two of them anyway so I can clack them. No, but yeah. I've been waiting all winter for these guys to drop their antlers. Give us a look. Go for it. How, he should be pink if it's just fallen. No, it's been a while. I can't so, believe you missed that. I've seen that. As I made, I, yeah, walk straight over it. Oh, but he must have been... To knock it off, hear the noise? Yeah. Like they got a real bony. Well, don't they do it against the tree? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was one there. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm so impressed, Blake. That's that's one of the, I I've been looking for one of these for ten years, and look, it's got one, two, three, four, five points, so it's a ten pointer. Yeah. Unreal. I cannot believe that. You stepped on it. You. I. I've been telling you at work how how badly yeah, you I really wanna... want one. And I'm telling you, like, the only way we're going to find them is in thick, thick scrub. And there then... There you go, on the track. Do you know, how many more have I walked over in... Yeah, now you're going to question yourself, like, I've probably walked over, like, a couple. Yeah, but now, look, look at that stick looks like one now. Everything looks like one. Yeah, no, I literally looked at the tree and like, is that a branch that looks like one? we got to find another one now. Yeah, we got to find another Well, we, we know they exist in here now. I just, all the years, I'm thinking I'd see them every winter antler. Mm. Come spring, they're gone. Where are they? Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the camera's on. Hold the shed. That's unreal. Hold it out a bit wider, so. Yeah, look at that. Cool, wow. Eh? That's the, that's the that's what bass fishing's all about, man. It's the other things that you, you do in here. Mm, just exploring. Yep. And right. honestly, I don't even, even need, need a rod to walk through here. No, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you're really quiet, if you sit, like, go climb one of these trees. And you just sit there. Y yeah, you see a lot of stuff. What do you? 
I have seen. See the white deer? Yeah, he's right there. Um. So he keeps their bed in there. It's kind of fucking. You stay there. I'll walk around this way. Yeah. Now he's going that way. Well, let's look for sheds where he is. Yeah. He's still better down there. He thinks we can't see him. There's two. There's three. They're all looking at us. Yeah, but then once we bump them, let's go in there and look for sheds. We can still see him. White deer, just there he goes. Look. <laughs> Stop. Right. Right. And they stop when you bark at them. Right. There you go. Oh, let's look for the shed. If they're bedding down there, you can smell them, eh? Yeah, it's a weird, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a wild game smell. Like urine and... Definitely... Yeah, like yeah, game. Wild game. Baseball. <laughs> Signed as well. Uh, Mickey Mantle. I don't know. I do know my dog's going to like it though. Right. There was a couple in here. They were bedding in here. Just remember, I've got, got a grey rod, so just remember I put it there. I'll put mine next to yours. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put the bag there and just look for these, look for a shed for a minute and then we'll keep going. We will catch a bass today, but it's, this is more fun. Oh, I don't mind that. Nah, this is, um, this turns an old man into a kid again. That's what happened. Just looking for things? Yeah. And I like doing it with, like, younger fellas like yourself because you got the energy. Yeah. All my mates all are... All day, all night. All yeah. All, all my mates are like, <laughs> they're too old to take him in. It's got to be a shed. Because I think they, they sit, they bed down, and they rub their heads against these trees. Mm. Yeah. See here, look. This is why I reckon we're on to where the sheds will be. See here? Oh, I can see the mark on it. See the rub? Yeah. See the rub on that one? Mm. Then look here. See, there's rubs here. Rubs. Oh, there's rubs here. There's rubs here. Yeah. See the rubs? They're not fresh, mm. but they're rubs. So they're sitting in here going... <laughs> Banging them. Yeah, eventually they must get itchy and then they just sort of bang them off their heads. Yeah, look, you can even see it on the magazine, but that bottom of that tree right there. See that one there? Yeah, there. And then even up here, look. See this? Come around here. See the wood clear? Yeah, that's a big old boat. Like his head's going down and rubbing in there. He can't fit through. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, maybe he's walking through here. His antlers out like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, and then when they're ready to drop, I think, like, look here, see more chips? See all this? Look at that, that's scarred. And that's fresh, feel, see that? It's all really fresh. So he's he's still got his horns on, or he had his horns on at that stage. Here, look, look here. Yep, another one. So we're gonna have to, there's gotta be more sheds in here. <laughs> all right, well, we'll get our bag, we'll keep walking. Yeah, this gives us good points of like where to search though. Yeah. So that's not a black snake. What would that be? Um I don't know, see it's a big high mound. I'd say it is some sort of snake, maybe. You get when it rains up here you get a lot of blue tongues come out up high. Oh cool. Yeah, they're just everywhere. You wouldn't even know they're in here until As I'm getting older, they're getting rarer and rarer. Yeah. yeah. We used to say, hey, kid. Yep. That's all the poo. As I walk through, there's hundreds of balls. Oh, you just kick them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't help myself. Oh, it's a bit flat. No, it doesn't matter. Shed video today. We got. Mm. We're hooked. We want to find these sheds. After we just stepped on one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I've got to work out how to use my phone now. Oh, you like me. Oh. Freaking hopeless, mate. Work said to me, 
FaceTime us. And I you went, know you what? turn the image around so it's facing me. <laughs> it's that one. Back in the day, the graffiti boys used to split the fences like that. But when you go inside of it, some of the art in there is just absolutely surreal. Oh, I'll come back here in a couple of days with you, mate. We'll get some snaps and that in there. Yeah, you go in cool. and it's, it used to be, there's an old, is it Plunkett? What's those, tar you know those, what the targets that spin around? The, when you do target practice, you got to Oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah. There's one of them out the front. Oh, okay. And when you go in there and you just sift through the sand, you'll just pick up all these old 303 bullets and stuff because they used to end up a target thing. Like inside of it, it's just all bullet holes. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole thing's been shot to pieces. Oh, definitely have a really big sticky beak on that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a second floor, but the ladder's a bit how you're going. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's a big flat roof up there. Like, it's it's the ultimate deer blind. You could sit up there with a bow and arrow, you'd have a ball. <laughs> you'd get them, because these, these are all... Through here. I've seen them through here. Yeah, these are deer trails all around and, it. And uh, the wild goats and shit. Yep, yep, and sheep. But it's just a really cool building, I hope. and. It's been designed to carry torpedoes. You see how thick the brickwork is. It's like yeah, yeah, it's fucking made to last. Yeah, you don't, they, you don't, you'll never going anywhere for a long time. No, you'll never see quality work well, like this no again. It's fucking no. perfect. Yep, that's workmanship. Man. Yep. When I first uh, found it, <laughs> when I first found it, I climbed that tree there oh, okay. and got up on the roof, and then I realised it was a front entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I know this fish here, so I am not going to um, leave this spot till I find out what they're eating. Oh, they're eating frogs. I found one over here. I'll leave that for you, okay? I found one just here. Yeah. I'll leave it Why? so you can catch him. Uh, oh, straight across there. That might get him, and just work it. Oh. You just keep working it. I'll see if we can find another one. Do a long shot. Um, that way? Yeah, right up the guts before I start fishing. There's a little trick too you call, I call tandem, which is one subsurface, one surface. Yeah, you got it. You got him. Oh, no. He just bricked you, mate. That's what we're talking about, that light leader. You got anything left? You just got bricked, mate. That, sucks. that could have been your first trophy bass. That's all it takes, eh? You're lucky I didn't have... I'd give you the heavier line. So we'll put 20 pound on both of them now. You'll get another chance. Was a mine ten? Ten, yeah. Who is a big one, mate? Yeah, he's Belgian. I said, <laughs> "Yep, yep." Ah. We'll Imagine read. You get him on that one. Hey. Imagine you get him on that one. Oh, I well, drop the bail arm. Oh, really? What was yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I drop it and just let him swim around. Tie himself out. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, because there's no tension. Yep. Then no, no, I just slowly work him back in. Oh, I'll just have one more cast and I'll retire. Well, congratulations on the hookup, but uh, no, it count. yeah, you could have had your first. That was definitely a trophy. Oh, there's another one there. <laughs> Here, oh. keep working this one and catch. He's not as big. Let's see if you can get bricked twice. <laughs> <laughs> you jinxed it for me now. Hey, you got, you got, no, stand here, stand here. You got the, the jiggy jiggy bit going right that draw, has drawn them, and you got the hook set right, so. You know it's working. Yeah, this, I'm just going to leave 10 pound on this, and I'll, I'll um, retie another froggy. Six. <laughs> you miss him? Yeah, you missed it again. Yep, it's all good. Big long cast. Yeah. Right. And get him working. That's it. Didn't really go long enough, but if I walk away and tie up, you'll get a hook up. If I stay here. I'll just chuck the camera on then. If you really want it. Oh yeah, we can do Blake cam. Yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got the one you gave me in the bag too. Yeah, but I can't edit with that one. Why is that? 
because I've just got an old GoPro editing out and it won't let me use it. Oh, is it that one? Yeah. Come on, do a big long pass. I just want to get this one on the film and then I'll tie it. Over. Over? Yeah. You got nothing behind you? Yeah, true. I'm just not too good with these ones. Yeah, you let, let a little bit more line out next time. Bring him across that way. Right, I reckon you'll walk away and I'll get him. Now that's ah, a full wrap around. Nah, ah, stay there. Around. See, on, on 20 pound leader, you can... You can smack it. Well, you'll, it'll roll because it's so tough, it'll actually re roll off the wrap because it's six pound. Right, come down here. Just wind up a little bit more. That's it. Stop. Now, now do a big. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah. So the more that line, yep. that was yep. easier. I think he hit more over that side. Yeah, he so. did. You got that right. And then keep it. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Right, throw another one back over there. It's all right though. We for a few minutes of fishing, and see how you sort of your fleek is landing in here. Yeah. You want to like flick it so it's yeah, coming I, back I, at I your think head. It'll land in here, so I've got to yeah. It up. You flick it a little bit tighter. Just throw one more in there. I'm just aim for that green tree there. Why does it fucking go that way? Because you're aiming that way. I'm pointing the rod towards the green tree. Yeah, I'll point it further. Stand, stand over there next cast and aim more that way. Then give it a flick. That's it. Probably gone too hard now. Now flick it back. Now keep winding as you flick. That's the secret to it. As it's in the air, you wind and really oh, quick. Oh, yeah, because you get close. Wind. No, it's on top of the... Oh, no, it's not. Just wind her up. There she goes. Right, stand up there. It's going to be the longest fish catch on the planet. Pardon? I normally just put the camera on for a flick. I want you to catch this, though. Yeah, I'll get there. I know. Where, oh where did that lure go? <laughs> right. uh, can I wind that back for you? Here, push. He's in the top of the green. So I just stopped her from wrapping. Yeah, because you get some fast little swing and around. Right there, watch this. Right. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're all right. This is your last cast and you just got to keep working. Right now, just start working the hole. I'll go and tie this other rig up. Slower. Just keep jig, 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 jig. Yeah. That. Yeah. So you had to go fast. Well, I just got to keep perpetual motion. And make the same motion over and over again. Yeah. I'll walk away and you'll get another hook up and you'll miss it. Let's put a beetle spin on it and get you. Yeah, that. Yeah. Just catch it. No, no. It's, uh. Ben? Yeah. You missed him again? Yeah, yeah it gets frustrating, doesn't it? Oh no, the reward will be worth it once I finish. Yeah. I, I try and make this sort of fishing look easy, but there's a few. Give it here. Give me your frog. Yeah. Guess you put a lot of faith in there. Uh, you're gonna get one first hit. Well, you said that when I cast that, that oyster rack and it was first hit, so I'll trust you on that. All you need to do is just flick it out in the middle and then just start winding it Wind back. slowly? Yep. Uh, wind it fairly, like, don't get it snagged, in other words. Hmm. If you pause, you'll get snagged. Oh, okay, so constant. Yep. Real. Oh, yeah. That's it. Right, hit your bail arm, and now just start winding. 
like this. Yep. I see him chasing it. Ah, oh, you missed him. See him go for it? Yeah. Yep. Alright, just flick it in again. How come they keep missing it? Uh, just, it's just, they're technique driven, so you get to a point where the speed of your retrieve will be right, and then they'll just, they'll just give it a little flick. Just a little flick. Just right there? No, right out, as far as you can. Don't go over the tree. Oh. That's it. Now just wind, start winding. Get ready. There you go. Only little fella, but you just got the fish that got away. Now lift him up, up. Nope, yep. How good is that? There you go. Yay, I fucking got one. <laughs> Yay. Well, you've you got bricked by a trophy, mate. This is a very poor consolation prize. Oh. But we're going to put a froggy back on you again after this. And really? Yeah. Do it the real way. No, no. Just get another explosion. I'll just chuck him from there. Whoosh. Now, I'll just show you something here. With, with these lures, they do get snagged easy, but mm. what I'll do is I'll just... Flick him out like that. I see I can see it. Oh, you don't want to see it. No, I can see it. Yeah. And now I slow it down. So it's sort of starting to disappear. And they'll just come up and hit it. And the other thing I want to show you is, the other thing is this, like, um, I'm trying to find a spot where I can actually do it. But, uh, Like here, what I'm going to do is have just very little line. See that stump there? Yeah. Oh, the figure eight. No, it's going to drop it down like that. If anything comes through, it's just around these stumps. But there isn't too much technique to it, eh? No, they'll just they'll just smash it when you're walking along that edge. And then and the third thing I'll do is like this. Just go over that log. Now I'm going to crank it up. Now you slow them down over. Hop it. Oh. And then let it flutter down that side. And then wind it back. And this, if there's a big bass there, he's going to smack it. Ooh. Come people, I'll rig you up with a worm hook rig. That one that I rigged you up the other day with. Yeah. Up here, you will you will catch so many fish with it, it's not funny. Oh, is that the one that's like, um, hard to lose? Yeah. As long as I've got the, yeah, I've got the rubbers. Yeah, same fish? No, no. Two different. One was there and one was over there. One was oh, right here. Okay, do a big shot, throw it right through. Honestly, it's probably one of the deadliest ways to catch a bass in. I'll go get this one over the log. One hit on the inside of the log, did it? Yeah. You sort of give him a little flick and. Yeah, got him. There you go. So yeah, it's just a. Oh, he's a little fat one. Past the fish here, I might just show the people, because I'm really bad at not showing people my rigs. Oh, yeah. Just hold the camera. Yep. Now this is a... I take a mate out and it's tough fishing. First of all, I'll let him go. There's your bass. Yep. You sure you want him? You're going to cut, yeah? I don't care. Mike, he made it, he made it. Right, now basically... Do a little rig here. I had it actually wrong too. I like, with me, I like tail up, the tail up, mm -hmm. because if it's tailed down, it, it'll drop and not expose, it'll expose the hook. And the fish, if they bite the tail, will miss the hook. So tail up, get it nice and straight. I pull it, like pull it a little bit tight and then find that, see that point? That's where I come in. And then it, this is unlike the, the one I was using the other day. I see it's fully exposed, then I bring it down like that, then I push it that way and that way. And see, so it's just the tip in. And what it is, it's like a, it's like a uh, mouse trap. It goes pop and the hook goes oh, straight through go. their mouth. And then I run that just off a little ball, free running ball sinker, a Texas rig, what they call it, a Texas rig. And uh, that will catch you more bass 
than anything. And especially if the barometer's low or it's a real shutdown day, uh, you'll come down here and you'll crack them. Anyway, catch some more, mate. Now just give yourself some line, okay? Get that rubber right, see how to give yourself about that much line. Then what I've done is I've just drawn a fish mm -hmm. and a bloke's gonna throw in. Often you'll find me talk to the camera. No, you're right, you got that. Nice uh, a bit short, short winded in. You still might get him. Yeah, imagine if I get him. No, no, watch your line. No, just get right across. Don't forget you've got a weedless hook, so just pelt it right over that back of that stump. Back of it? Yeah, yeah, right to the other bank. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. You want a drawing. Just, yeah, now just let it sink. Now just slowly wind it back. Drop your rod tip down. Get ready for this hookup. We'll work tandem, I'll go over the top while you do that. He was a good one. See so a couple of weeks ago it was hard to get a strike. Now it's like pretty well every every hole. Mm. Right, you go over the top of me now. There we go, that's a good one. Over the log. We can just keep working this area for a while. I might bash a track around. I'm like, while I'm here, I want to clear all these snake stink areas out. Mm -hmm. So just keep working that and uh, tell me if you get him. Oh. What, he drew right there? Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah that's all right, just flick. No, no, here. What you do, just yeah. come here like this, oh. drop your bail arm and just, just flick it in. Get ready for him. Yeah, right. Yep. And just just says it's about to leave the bank is where he's probably gonna hit you. Yep, you got him. Well done. That's not the big one that hit me before, but yep. but see how he like he's waiting at the bank for you. Yep. Same rig again. Oh yeah. Oh you hold it. That's what you don't spike you like that. Should be right. You're heading for a hide hiding in nowhere there. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. You're tough. <laughs> what we call a newbie. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, that's all right. I got a pair of bogey grips on my on my uh, bag. The fish grips. No, I don't need them. No, no, you don't need them. <laughs> you mate Rogers. I was like, what are you doing with them? I throw them in. Anyway, he was embarrassed. So he gave them to me, so I had them ever since. And then I tried using them a while ago on a flathead and <laughs> couldn't use them. What pull of that? Pull the hook out. Oh, the player flipped out of my hand and it's spinning around with the vogas in its mouth. Oh, it's beautiful country. Oh no, fresh hole. Yeah. Oh, good one. I got a good one. Oh, he's treed me, but I'm... Get out, I've got him. Uh, I'm gonna need you to help me. Oh no, I've got him out again. He's a good one. You got one too. Oh, he's still on, but he's... Can I get a hand here? Oh, I need you to hold the rod for me. There's a bass on the end of my rod. <laughs> There's a bass on the end of your rod too. Yeah, I just reeled him in though. He's, he's small though. I, he's not on the bank, is he? Oh, he's on the bank. I'll go let him go. I'll, look, see, mine's, mine's a good one. Go let him go and come back. Okay. One of us is going for a swim. Is that? <laughs> Blake's got his four fish on the bank. This guy 
He must be just stuck in the stick. You better not be a little fella after all of this. How cool is this? What we might do is I might try and walk across here and pass you the rod over. Where do you like, want me to go? Around the other side of this stump. Yep. Like he's still on there and he did feel like a pretty good fish. I don't think he's a trophy. Oh, he's falling in. Watch yourself, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks for your concern, Blake. You're an old man. Hold that. You're gonna be concerned. Uh, you're only as old as a girl, you feel, mate? <laughs> uh, okay, bring it along here. Yeah. Come on, so I can see him. There he is, there. Oh, he's, he's alright. He's alright. Watch what I'm doing. That's pretty dangerous what I just did then. Yeah, I've seen that. Because like, the, the she-oaks... <laughs> yeah, if it was a full tree. Try to. You see him still? Oh, I see him. Oh, dang. Wet. Nah, I'm gonna have to get wet for him. It's deep. This is where you need break them right now. Yeah. Well, can you? You come down. <laughs> Blake Cam. This is where you need Blake in the water. Yeah, what are you doing in the water? I need the rod now, you gotta bring it down to me. Oh, ah, fuck this. Slide on your bum. Yeah, what am I doing in the water? Yeah, why didn't you get me in the water? Jump in and grab my fish, Blake. Alright. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get back out. Oh, you want the jack on? Eh? Yeah, sure. You what? Yeah, you're going in. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's still there. Oh, this poor bass he's been on. Is he really worth it though? Yeah, look, there he is. <laughs> oh, he is bold. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I get my fish, Blake. I'm getting it. I can't have the Don't blow it. Don't blow it. I actually thought it was a 40, but it's only like a 30. Make me get in for this fucking thing. Yeah, don't blow it. Go over the, is that over or under that log? Yeah, they go the line. Oh yeah, he's a chunk. He's all right, he was worth going in. It wasn't even that bad. It was actually no, all right. it's beautiful. Stick the finger in his mouth. Nah, bottom of his jaw. Oh yeah, with... Yep. Turn my way, bitch. Yep, just get in there, good grip. Got him. Now lift him up for the camera. This is your fish. I oh, know. <laughs> yeah, I'll go out a bit more, eh? Well, you call me an old fucking fella before. You're an old fella. Yeah, well, that's why you got my fish. Yeah. This take... is never bad in the water, eh? Hey? Oh? Not even that bad. No, when it comes summer, if it's a trophy, I like I'll be fishing on that log there, that tree. I hook a trophy. I leap into the river. <laughs> and go up, it's the only way to land it. Like, now, I thought it was going to be really fucking cold, and it's like, no, no. it's actually pretty warm. But it, here's, the, warm, here's like, the coolest oh. thing, right? Take the hook off him. Yeah. And then just... He swims around? No, and just, yeah, take that off him. All right, now just let him go. Look at that, he's right, he's in. He's behind you now. Oh, I can feel him going on my leg! <laughs> <laughs> All right, chuck me, chuck me that over, I just want to show. We've... With the rig that I had for you, mm. right, the the rubber was out, the hook was outside of the Imagine rubber. A mess an eel just gets me. Oh, no, I bet I've seen some monsters. I seen an eel dead at South Creek. Yeah. It was that big. I opened its jaws up and I stuck my head in Fuck it that. after a flood. Yeah, yeah, it was it was huge. But anyway, see this. Was not too polluted. I don't think it's fucking. I was polluted. Oh well, I'm already in it. See that? Yeah. When it, when I reloaded it, the hook. It's still inside of the rubber. Mm. Like it's inside of the rubber because it's that Z-Man tub. Yeah. But like with yours, it's locked and loaded on top. This one goes inside, he bites through. Mm. I just take the fish off and it, it locks itself back into the same spot. Done.
Sometimes the creeks are so jungle infested that you can only fish them from the oh, going from in the water. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool, eh? Just, oh, can't, oh, I forgot to bring the kayak. Oh, <laughs> yep. Oh, I found a little blow-up boat down here one day. That was the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't you walk out? Boat. Yeah, don't follow me out here. Uh. Oh, she's recording. Chuck her on. You really got to have some balance, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just back up. He's a biggie. Look at him. Look how quick they are. Look at him, he's still going. See the grass? Yeah, yeah. You see it for the up. grass movement? Yep. No water there. Yeah, what was I? That was about one step off him. <laughs> yeah, so that black thing sticking out of the bank there? It's like push sealed. It's just oh. over there. Oh yeah, that's that um, breakfast. That's a that's the golf course. When they can't handle their shit, they blow it straight into the that's creek. That's a multi-million dollar golf course. In a flood, these little gullies mm. is what I catch bass in. This is their sanctuary. Oh yeah, because it's pretty it's, Yeah, it's, it lifts up and that'll be all muddy and this will be clear. Yeah. Now it's just a rubbish pit, like where all the bottles collect. But because they're doing development, they've cut all these little tar creeks off. Oh, no. Yeah, and this was the survival, like the reason why bass would be in here, this because they could survive in these when it was conditions are bad. But now they're doing these raised snake pit flood things that yeah, they... Oh, they just a... They're a man-made snake pit, mate. I, don't, I can't believe that they... They're like the, the floodway zone, they've got a fence wrapped around them. Like, instead of the snakes having to like run around, roam the streets when there's yep. new housing, they just fuck off. Oh, they just go straight into oh, the flood zone. Oh, yep. Jeez, mate, that's a fucking house. Yep, and then it's got pipes connecting it to the drains. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they breed oh, out. There's a snake in the toilet. Yeah, but once there's like 50 of them in that flood pit, they start moving. And that's what's happening this year. All the snakes are on the move. And look. It's cool here. Yeah? yeah, but look at all the housing. They're going to come. Look at all the housing. Where do you think the snakes are going to end up? I like the soft poles, but that one's split. Watch, you'll randomly go off. That's <laughs> a hey? snippy bottle. Yeah. I see the balls like that all the time. Now I've worked out what they're a soft ball. There's a little baby bowling ball over there. It's just crap, isn't it? Now he's on an island, that fox. Do you want to go on the island? No, I just heard him jump. Do you hear that? 